the chef code is unquestionably the most um, recognizable piece of uniform that we wear. The chef code is a matter of pride. The chef code is something that you earn. I remember when the chef gave me my first Brigard Egyptian cotton coat as a sous chef. I still have that jacket. It was a matter of pride. It was something that I took very, very seriously and something that I continue to take seriously today. You are not issued as students cotton coats. There's a reason for that. Blended coats, polyester cotton blend, are a lot easier to maintain and a lot easier to wash. The reason that that's important is because in this program, with the amount of time that you have, it is very, very difficult to try to maintain these coats. What I do, I do not starch the whole coat. I just do starch on the creases. It's a little bit of a trick that I use so that I get the nice razored edge crease while not setting myself up to be, look like a wrinkled accordion with the rest of my jacket. Okay, so I do the sleeves first. Nice hot iron here. Okay. These coats are very, very expensive and the benefit to them is that they're nice and cool. You can see they've got the, the vented armholes. This is something, as I mentioned, that you have to earn. You have to earn a level of respect among your peers and among your, the people you're working for. And you have to earn the right to wear a coat. And do you want to be wearing a $130 chef coat if you're still working like a slob, if you're still covered in food at the end of every single day. If that's the case, you're probably not ready to be at this point. Okay, second sleeve. Remember the starch trick here, just on the one portion. Spray bottles are best for me because they apply a nice even layer. Doesn't trash your iron. If you put water in the iron, over time it's going to build up rust. And then one morning when you're on your way to class, when you should have ironed your jacket the night before, you're going to turn that iron on and it's going to belch rust right onto the front of your coat. And it's going to be pretty distressing because you're going to try to get to class with that. And the chef is going to know exactly what's going to happen because you're going to have the pattern of the iron on the front of your jacket, which gives you the good old college try, but close, but not close enough. It's important that you take the time to do this. You can do a number of things when it comes to the ironing and maintenance of your uniform. Don't leave this until 5 o'clock in the morning when you have a 6 o'clock class. I know that uh, this is going to sound strange, but I enjoy ironing, okay? I enjoy ironing. I watch television. Baseball is a tremendous ironing sport because it gives you the windows in between pitches to really hit those creases, okay? Golf has become a good ironing sport only because Tiger Woods is entertaining. And uh, a lot of students study or they set up their irons together and they talk about their day. All right. While it is somewhat mundane, it is a necessary thing. So spread this out. One other tip in terms of the ironing is the better the pad, the easier the wrinkles will come out. And I've got two pads here underneath. And someday my wife will give me the Teflon ironing board cover and I will be in ironing heaven. <laughs> That sounds strange. I got this iron for my birthday. I was ecstatic. Don't give your wife a vacuum cleaner for Mother's Day, but Dad gets an iron for his birthday and he's happy as can be. Okay, watch out. Don't iron over the cord. Electrocute yourself while you're having this much fun. Okay. So no starch on the front. 
flip it up do the under the arms another good point to make with regards to the coats that are issued and those of the polyester blends is boy it's a lot easier if you catch those just as the drying cycle is over and you pull them out of the dryer and hang them up on the spot do not go out go to dinner come back and have the iron sitting in a wad or the, excuse me the jacket sitting in a wad in the dryer because you're going to end up with wrinkles that are extremely hard to remove and uh, we see those wrinkles every day in the kitchen okay now the back side this is the uh, the home stretch here the easy parts you can see that nice hot iron wrinkles are coming right out so things that we've seen with students in the kitchen they make a big mess on their coats they don't take care of them we'll see it again there are three levels of stains on a chef's coat there's a water based stain that's beet juice looks terrible but comes out pretty easily if you catch it early there is grease which would be level two okay grease you got to catch early also my recommendation is some kind of pre-treatment shout or any of those spray and wash spray it on the grease let it sit and then wash the coat that day a lot of chefs will talk to you about pre-soaking and bleach that type of thing I've never been a big fan of the pre-soak only because I don't want to break down the coats too much you got to be cheap in this business too level three stain is carbon carbon is what builds up when a range or a burner is not burning as uh, properly as it should creates the black soot around the range or at the bottom of the oven or on the bottom of the pot that you are cooking and you get that on your coat I brought this jacket because I've got a carbon stain on it wanted to show you that this jacket is probably four years old has been treated constantly that right there is a carbon stain okay it will not come out the other problem too if you don't pre-treat your stains and get them out the first time as soon as you iron over it it's in and it's going to be there forever so carbon carbon is uh, kind of a good luck so your hope is that any carbon stains that you get are going to be uh, on your apron rather than on your jacket now this one people ask about the chef coat and why is it double buttoned and I've heard all kinds of really stupid things oh if it's buttoned left to right that's for the women chefs and right to left is for the, the men that's really stupid um, the point to having a double breasted coat is that when you make a mess on your jacket you can switch it around which means that you have a window this big to make your messes on that's it okay creating a little bit of pressure on the seams the cotton seams bunch up I do not put these coats in the dryer I just wash them and hang them the polyester blends it's okay to dry them but again catch them before they come out blood is another kind of stain <laughs> blood and bone fragments um, blood comes out blood is protein based blood comes out very easily with a little bit of the uh, the pre the pre soak okay and that's the chef's coat 